Okay, so we're here at the 2024 PGA Show and all the buzz has been about the brand new Vokey Design SM10 wedges and we have the man himself wow. here to tell us about them. Bob, tell us a little bit what the motivation was for the SM10s. To improve, improve upon the SM9s. Yep. Always, continually improve from generation to generation. Take the, call it, the, any comments that you may hear. Because how do you get these comments? For First off, we do all the best testing you possibly could have for each series. A lot of new innovation we put in. But all of a sudden, what you can't replicate is what happens on the backside Sunday afternoon in our hands. That's right. We may hear a little something. So we, that's it. Okay, now here we go, guys. We say this. We hear maybe from two players. Or so, no, it's okay. Let's take a look at it. But remember, we don't want to hurt what we already have. What we have is pretty good. You could chase it a wee bit. Correct it as best you can without affecting what we already have. Just keep building upon it. Keep up build upon it. And then the progressive center of gravity, that's something that's been thrown around a lot. We hear the words. What does it mean to average golfers like myself? Well, center of gravity is worth, but you can almost, when I did my day, I used to be able to take before computers come. Computers tell it what the metal, they get exactly where it is. I didn't have that luxury when I started. I used to take off the heads I like. I would either cut the shaft off or take the shaft off, you know, blow torch off. Then I would balance that particular head almost on my fingertip, sort of. Yeah. But I use a drill bit on an end device. And I put it where it balances. I grab it and I just shake it like this. Get the little, little spot. I said, there's the center of gravity. So I had a bunch of other wedges that I like. Where's the center of gravity? I find out where it is. Using the back older wedges that most of was mostly in this location. Where I was. It's closest. It was inside of center. Right. You know, which older wedges, bigger wedges, I did a lot of time because you want to want that wedge to do that. They don't want it to remain open. But we're fortunate when we put the center of gravity. We also, you have it up and down, in and out. So we're able to move it in. We moved it probably up a little bit and out a little bit here, which stopped to, to change, to watch that dynamic loft change. So we turned around and we moved it in, in a wee bit, but we also moved it towards the center. And the, mm. as a result, we have what you call a, a draw bias. It's draw by, so we said we wanted to get rid of that draw bias. We're just going to be taking normal swing. It's going to go the way you want it, straight. It's not going to have a tendency to do this. And but it won't, it won't, won't remain open. It's still just, just, just a smidge. It's still going to right. close on it, which I always want that MOI. You want that. You yeah. want the shot. You want it to come. And that's a perfect example of that kind of fine tuning that you're fine talking about, just building upon what's within. And there. then we get that and we say, okay, guys. Yeah. Let's go for it. That's basic, all the innovation. Plus, we had. Profile changes, a little bit of profile changes. Some players were complaining about the toe; they thought it was a little too round. I wanted to get things more symmetrical, so it's a better looking. Right and now. looks give confidence. Yeah, you know, confidence is hard to man. It is. That's the biggest word that I love. I love confidence. There's nothing more dangerous than a confident golfer. You good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess that's um, get it, sit it down behind the ball. Bang! I was like, I can hit that shot. Let's go and watch this. Absolutely. You know, they 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 say, watch this shot. You ready for this? Watch. Yeah. Here it is. Bang! Take that. No, no yeah. better feeling than that. No better feeling than that. And obviously a lot of options, 25 different yes, combination yeah. options, which I think there's two parts of the puzzle. Of course, there's the equipment, but there's a fitting as well. Yeah. And, and, and us as regular golfers, we're learning more and more about that important, that piece. Fitting is so very important. And you, you're as a person who's just still doing fittings still now. Still doing them. You're still doing them. Still fitting. So tell us a little bit about this, uh, this lineup as a tool for you to do fittings with. What it is right now, it's each line that we do, we'll take out some, the movers and the shakers. You know, we, we know what they are, what, where we can do a fitting. But if, if we're lacking on one particular club, they had a certain amount of shots that come up during fitting, we say, and also tour players, you know. Well, they're going to get that, get all these different combinations that they're going to get. But what do we want to put in a line that we're going to sell? We have a lot of wedges on Wedgeworks. Grinds that are just sitting in the, I call it, you know, during the bullpen. And yeah, they're just yeah. sitting there like waiting to be put in the game. So that's how we get new ones. What new this year comes with is a T grind. It's an older wedge. It's been on wedge rigs for a long, long time. Right. But we just brought it back into the mix again. So, yeah. And we brought the, the low bounce 54. Oh. Brought it back into it. In and out. So it's all the little ones that are there. We bring them back in when we need. Call it, you see a little hole in the lineup. We can just the lineup. Let's, let's pinch it. Let's get another budget. And, and golf's such a global game. There's so many different conditions to play under. Yeah. The more options that we have. I mean, some of us even just playing in conditions that are different than are used to. A different grind may make all the difference. But you remember, this, 
good wedge play is an art form. It's true. You want to make sure you're, you're using a light paintbrush because you're not going to be able to complete that portrait. It's simple as that. That's why you got to know what to use. And that's where going to get fit. If you go to get fit, they're going to give you the right. Then you take care. If you go prepared, ask all the answers, that questions you want to get answers for. Give them the right, right questions so that fitter can help you. Yeah. Help you where you give me your strengths, give me your weaknesses. How do you hit each shot? With what particular club are you using now? You know, those are things there that you guys can work together. You and the fitter can work together to give you the best tools in your tool, toolbox to do the job. Hey, the tour so, pros do it. We might as all, well too, right? All the time. Yeah. All the time. And then just tell me a little bit about the new finish. Great. This is just this is a a nickel type finish. It's again it's plated, very similar to the plated. It's gonna it'll wear off. But it's just you're looking for a finish that, that to replace with a brush with a brush nickel. Mm -hmm. It was different type of color. I didn't I didn't like it as much as this this particular guy right here. That was going to be in my bag. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to ask you, Derek asked like, w which wedges are in Bob Bokey's bag right now? Right now, 46 F, 52 F, a 56 F. I'm old school, go full F song. grind. Yeah. And then I went M grind. In my 16. The yeah, M grind is very versatile lobber. So I always like to have one high bounce sand wedge and lower bounce lob wedge. See, that gives you the shots in. When you go and look at the shot and you say, God, I got to hit this shot, you're going to have the club that's going to let you, it's going to complement your technique. Yeah, there's it's a lot of versatility you. in those four wedges right there. That's it. Yeah. That's what I try to do. Absolutely. All right, Bob, I appreciate your awesome. time. We're excited to hit them ourselves, which we're going to be doing really soon. It gets contagious. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks.